everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne. I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to be talking about the top three mistakes that buyers of RV travel trailers tend to make over and over. Yes, travel trailers are the entry level into RVing and RV life for a lot of people. And one of the reasons for that is because they're usually the least expensive RV that you can buy. So that's a really big factor in their favor. But many travel trailer buyers make very serious and very costly mistakes in the process. Let's talk about some of those bigger mistakes that travel trailer buyers make so you can avoid them. The first one we'll talk about today is not correctly matching the tow vehicle with the RV that they buy. In fact, it's common to see people towing their travel trailer down the road, and you can just tell by the way the rig looks that the travel trailer is too much weight for that tow vehicle. It happens a lot. Why? Why do people do that? Well, very often, one of the reasons is they're listening to the wrong advice. Uh, perhaps they're listening to their salesperson. And unfortunately, many RV salespeople will tell you almost anything you want to hear just to get the sale. So the salesperson, if they're asked, can my tow vehicle tow this trailer? Oh, sure you can. Don't worry about it. Lots of people do. That's very often wrong advice. But maybe they also are asking a friend instead who's an RVer, but unfortunately doesn't really know a lot about towing. And once again, they get the wrong advice. Now, the thing that's the real issue here is that the RVer, the person who's buying the travel trailer, is not taking the time or putting in the effort to learn about weight ratings for both the RV and the tow vehicle. And that way, if they knew about it, they would be able to buy the right RV. Another thing that people very often don't do is that they don't bring their travel trailer to a local scale, like a cat scale, and get it weighed and make sure they know what that RV actually weighs. Instead, a lot of people just keep putting stuff into their RV as long as there is room to put stuff in. And they figure as long as there is room there, well, then they're under the full weight of the RV. But that's not true. You can overweigh an RV very quickly. So you need to know what your RV weighs. It doesn't take very much time and it's super cheap, but it's very good information to have. Now, as a result of not having all this education that they should have about weight and weight ratings, the rig itself, the tow vehicle and the RV going down the road is unsafe. And it's most likely going to do some serious and expensive damage to the tow vehicle over time as well. Now, I've made some videos to help Everyone learn more about weight and weight ratings. And really, it's not that hard to learn. There's only a few that you have to know about and understand. And the videos that I made will show you the weight classifications, what they mean, but also how to use that to match up a tow vehicle and the RV and do it the right way. So I encourage you to watch those videos. There will be links to them in the description of both the video and the podcast. Now let's move on to the second big mistake that travel trailer buyers make. And that is that they often buy a poor quality RV and an RV that doesn't necessarily fit them and the way that they travel and camp. Now here's what often happens is that the buyer will decide, okay, we want an RV. So they go down to the local dealer. And quite often that's going to be one of these large national chains. And as soon as you get in there, they're going to assign a salesperson to you who sticks to you like glue. 
And then again, we get back to the problem that that salesperson will often try to get you to do what they want you to do. In other words, you may actually not realize that they're taking you around and showing you RVs they want to sell rather than ones that are really best for you and the way that you intend to travel and camp. And people start asking them for advice. And the problem there is many RV salespeople actually don't have that much knowledge about RVing itself. And so you can get very wrong information there at the dealer. And uh, then the other problem is that as people go around and view all of these RVs that they're looking at, quite often they're looking at the wrong things. They're looking at how pretty it is or the appearance, the colors, does it match their tow vehicle? The floor plan, how about the furniture? I like this furniture, I don't like that. Then they're talking about the amenities all the time. Now, all of these things are actually good to consider. There's nothing wrong with considering these things. The problem is that people very often make them the priority, the number one thing that makes them choose an RV. And the quality of the RV just gets shoved way down the list. And that's really not a good thing. The other thing that people often don't know when they go to an RV dealer is which brands make better RVs than other brands do. If anybody tells you that you can't go by the brand of an RV, they're not telling you the truth. And the other problem that people get into is because they don't know which brands to buy, they will go online to social media and social media is just a hotbed of false information in many, many cases when it comes to RVs. You'll just get a lot of conflicting and often not only contradictory, but just wrong advice on social media. So they may get advice to buy a brand that's really not good for them or to stay away from an actually very good brand just because there's so much negativity that people have in their opinions about it. Now, the other thing is that quite often a mistake can be made by people who intend to start full-time RVing. And so they want to do it on the cheap and they go and buy a travel trailer, but they'll buy an entry level travel trailer to full time in. That's a big mistake because uh, these travel trailers are not meant for full timing. They're meant for weekends and vacations and so on. And if you use them in a full time way, it's going to break them down really, really fast. Now, all the things I've just talked about here in this second mistake is really about not being educated and not really knowing what to buy. It's so much better to learn in advance what you need to be looking for and know about better build quality before you go out and start buying. Now that brings us to our third big mistake and that is Many travel trailer buyers do not use a certified RV inspector before they buy and purchase the RV. In fact, the vast majority of RV buyers in general don't use inspectors at all. Here's what they do. They go down to the dealer, like we said, go through, they buy the RV, they're so excited, they take the RV out camping pretty much right away, and all of a sudden they find this problem and that issue, and it just starts mounting up. Now they go back to the dealer, they get into this thing where they're needing all of these things repaired, but they can't be repaired quickly. And so it goes weeks, months, sometimes a year before you get all of those problems straightened out. Well, now they're upset, they're frustrated, they go online, they blame the RV builder, they blame the dealer, and so on. But the honest truth is they skipped a very important step in the buying process of RVs, and that is to use an RV inspector. 
You see, you can find the vast majority of RV problems before you take it home if you use an RV inspector, a certified NRVIA inspector who can go through that RV thoroughly from top to bottom and let you know what the problems and the issues are. Then you can get those issues fixed before you take it out for the first camping trip. Now, some people will tell me, well, I can't afford an RV inspection. Well, here is my frank and direct response to that. If you can't afford an RV inspection, honestly, you can't afford the RV. It's just the right thing to do to make sure that you're getting a quality product and one that you're gonna be happy with right away. The truth is too that travel trailers are actually the least expensive RV to inspect. It doesn't cost that much and it's money well spent. So don't skip that very important step. Well, those are the three big mistakes that I wanted to cover today. There's more, believe me, but those are big mistakes that travel trailer buyers often make. Let me add this on. If you need help on buying the right brands, good brands, and starting with them, well then, I've made a guidebook on all the categories of RVs that will show you the brands that are the best to start with in those areas. If you're buying a new RV, that's what you have in mind, well, I have a guidebook that will help you avoid the common problems that so many RV buyers are experiencing when they buy new. And if you're instead buying used, well, I have a buying guide for that too, to make sure that you avoid buying a bad RV, one that's a money pit, and instead can make sure what you buy is in good shape. Well, I hope what I've covered today is going to help you know about these mistakes and be able to avoid them. And that way you can buy the travel trailer of your dreams. And that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. Mm -hmm.